This video will give you a quick introduction to defining joins in the metadata model of the studio. At the moment I've got the query window up and I'm looking at the human resources employee table. You can see that I've got uh, employee ID numbers and contact and manager but I've got no join defined in the query. What I'll do now is I'll go back into the studio and define the joins to the managers and the contact um, ID tables. So I'll bring up the list of tables and display the human resource table. You can see here that we've got the IDs which we really don't want to show to the end user so we want to hide those but we want to use the IDs to navigate to the in this case the, the person contact table. You can see that the person contact table has also got a, uh, a contact ID. So what we'll do is first of all we'll hide the contact ID field by changing the true false flag to false on visible and then we'll right click and add a new join and we'd like to join to the person contact table. So I'll just select that and that brings us into the join def definition window. So we've got two panes here. One is the from table and the other is the to table. So we want to join on the contact ID and in the person contact table we want to join to the contact ID. And as you can see, as I'm selecting the fields, the SQL statement has been built up for me. The purple sections here are, in fact, control tags. And what they do is uh, allow you to substitute in the, the target uh, join table SQL name without actually typing it in. This, this avoids uh, complications where you change the SQL and you have to change it everywhere there's a join. So these control tags will hunt down the, the table that you're joining to and substitute in the text. And of course, you've got the join alias as well. And it's added the on clause where the contact ID equals contact ID. So I'll just hit OK there. And you can see now that the uh, person contact table has been joined to. And if you look at the description, you can see it's also used a control tag to pick up the description of the target table in the join. So again, we're not repeating uh, descriptions everywhere. I also said we'd do a join to the contact manager, uh, to the uh, employees manager. So again, we, we don't want to show this field to the end user, so we're going to hide that and then do a new join. And the manager is in the same table as the employee resource table. So we'll join back in to our cells. And just as before, uh, we do a join on the ID. So it's not the employee ID, it's the manager ID joins to the employee ID and it's building up the SQL statement. If there was more than one table involved in the join process, what you would do is uh, give a hand type in the, the SQL statements and add them to the overall section or you could uh, reselect the from table and to table and use the wizard to build up the SQL statements. So I'll add that and I'll save the project and go into the query test tool and just confirm that the joins that I've done are indeed working. So this launches me into the logon window and into the query window. I'll just go back to the human resources employee table and this time we've got more fields. You can see that the contact ID has disappeared and in, in its place we have 
person contact, which gives all gives us the join to their uh, their full name and address. And for their manager, you can see it's got human resources employee, the same as the the main table because we're joining in back into the same table. We should really change that description. So let's cancel out of here, go back to the description and change that to manager and click OK and save the project. And test the query again. Oh, that's much better. So now we've got manager. So we'll run a query on that. We'll get the employee ID, their national ID number, and first name, last name, based on the join, and their manager if they have a manager. And then we can preview that query. And now we can have a look at the debug statement, which will show us the SQL statement that was generated to uh, perform this report. You can see now that we've got uh, fields coming out of the root table and this J002 is bringing out the first and last name based on the join criteria that that we put in to um, go off and get their personal contact details. So that's a uh, quick overview of joins.